Hey guys, welcome to my channel iPod. I am Pallav and today we are going to see that what are subjects in Combine. In my previous videos on Combine, we discussed about publishers, subscribers, operators like Map, Decode, Zip, Combine Latest. But I felt that I haven't talked about one of the most useful piece that is subject. So in this video, we are going to deep dive into subjects. But before that, let's see that where can we use subjects. Because I feel that for developing interest in learning anything, the most efficient way is to see it in action. To see that what can we achieve through it, where it can be used. So let's see that where will we use subjects in this video. So in this music streaming application, we'll use subject for giving the callbacks from the equalizer sheet, from the equalizer controller to the controller which is presenting it. What I mean is that when we'll tap on this equalizer button, this bottom sheet will get opened, which is a different controller altogether. And on performing actions in this bottom sheet, we'll give the callbacks to the controller which presented it. So when we'll select any of the presets or when we'll play with these sliders, the values in the background view are getting updated. This is something that we generally achieve using protocol and delegates or closures maybe. But in this video, we will see that how can we achieve the same thing using subjects. Now let's have a glance at the theory part of the subject and then we'll jump to export for implementing this. As you can see here, subject is an abstract type. It is a protocol which inherits from publisher protocol. So everything that is available with publisher protocol is there with subject too. But additionally, there are three more methods for passing the values to the downstream. The first one is for sending the values whenever any action is performed. Second one is for sending the completion that whether the subscription has completed successfully or it failed. So you can either pass success or failure from that completion. And the third one is having subscription as a parameter. So when you will use subject in conjunction of other publishers, other operators, and when you receive any subscription from the upstream, you can actually take that as an input, process the values, and then pass the process values to the downstream. So third method can be used for those cases. Now using this abstract type subject, you can create your own subjects by writing the concrete implementation. But in majority of cases, you will not come across any such requirement. Because subject is already having two concrete implementations. One is for pass through subject and the other one is for the current value subject. These two are the concrete implementations of the protocol subject and which can be used in different places as per the different requirements. Now let's see that what is the difference between pass through subject and current value subject. Because both confirms to the protocol subject, both are having all those methods of publisher and the subject protocol. So where should we use pass through and where should we use current value and what is the difference? So pass through should be used in those cases when you want to emit the value whenever any action is performed. For example, tap on a button. So let's say that you want to give callback to your view controller from your table view cell when any button has been typed. Now pass through subject is a good candidate for this requirement. But current value subject is more useful in those cases when you are actually interested in the state of any object. For example, a switch. Even when user has not performed any action, switch has a state. Either it will be on or it will be off. Now to get that state, current value subject can be used. Or maybe sliders. Because even they have a value for any given point of time. So whenever you want to get the current value, you want to know the state, current value subjects are useful. And whenever you want to emit the values when any action is performed, pass through subject can be used. And because of this reason, current value subject will always have an initial value, which is not the case with pass through subject. And I came across a good analogy on Stack Overflow for understanding the difference between these two, which says that pass through subjects are like a doorbell. So when you are not at home and someone comes and rings the bell, you will not come to know. Even when you will reach back to the home, you will not come to know that someone came and rang the bell. But in case of current value subject, it is like lighting of a bulb. So even when you are not at home, if someone comes and turns on the light, you will come to know about it whenever you will reach back to home. So the state is being retained in case of current value subject. Now that was it just for the theory part of current value and pass through subject. Let's jump to export for implementation. Let's first see that what is happening and then we'll see that how it is happening. I'll give you a walkthrough of the code, but you don't worry about getting the code. I'll put the link of the gist in the description as always. And I'm sure that you won't need it because this is going to be really, really easy. If you struggle with the concepts like any cancelable, what it is and why we are using it, you can refer to the combined playlist on my channel. I have explained it in almost all of my videos that I did on combined. Now let's see that what is happening here. So on top of this equalizer button, I'm opening this bottom sheet. It is actually a different view controller. And on selection of any of the presets, we are giving the callback to the controller which presented this bottom sheet. So this is the controller that is view controller which is presenting the bottom sheet. And this is the equalizer controller which is being presented as a bottom sheet. And if you want to understand that how a controller can be presented as the bottom sheet, I did a video on that too. Here's the link for it. So what we are doing is that from this view controller on top of this equalize the button, we are opening this bottom sheet. And on selection of any of the presets or any change in the value of these sliders, 
we are giving the callback to the view controller something like this if i select rock you can see that the values are reflecting here in the background view and if i change the values of these sliders that are also being reflected in the labels that are on the background view now typically this is achieved using protocols and delegates or maybe closures but let's see that how we are doing this using the subjects the pass through subject and the current value subject so here in the view controller we are having nothing much here this is the action method for the button from here we are presenting our equalizer view controller as the bottom sheet these three lines are responsible for opening it as a bottom sheet using the medium detent and then we are subscribing to we are listening to the pass through subject and the current value subject which are residing in the equalizer view controller so let's have a look at that in the equalizer view controller these are the outlets for my sliders and the segmented control that i'm using for the presets and here are the pass through subject and the current value subject responsible for each of those four things the sliders and one segmented control so for segmented control i am using pass through subject because i am not interested in the state instead i just want to call back on the selection of any of the presets and for the rest three for the three sliders i am using current value subject because i am interested in the state and as i mentioned earlier that current value subjects must have an initial value so that is why we are initializing them with the point 0.5 while that is not the case with the pass through subject so these are the subjects that we'll be using next from the view did load i'm calling this setup presets control here there's nothing much i'm just setting the ui for the preset this is the action method for the preset so again we are just calling the send method which we are going to see in detail and here are the action methods for the sliders for base middle and treble and whatever the value that we are getting from our ui slider that is our sender we are just passing it to our subscribers to the downstream using the method send this is how we are using our current value subject and our pass through subject we are just calling the send method and we are passing the values now let's see that how we are listening to these values actually so in this view controller class here in the method from where we are presenting the bottom sheet we are subscribing to our publishers and i'm calling it publisher because subjects eventually confirms to the protocol publisher so internally it is a publisher and this is how we are subscribing to that publisher using the sync so if you have worked on combine or if you have seen any of my previous videos on combine then this sync will look very familiar to you and for those who don't know sync is just a way to subscribe to any publisher so that is what we are doing and whatever that is happening in the sync block that completely depends on your business logic what you want to do so here in this case i just wanted to update the values on the label because this is a demo but in the actual project you will be changing the value of base travel middle if it is related to this music streaming application and then we are using store for storing our subscriptions so once again for the revision this subscriptions is a set of any cancelables because the sync method returns an any cancelable and if you do not store it in this set then whenever the cancel method of any cancelable will be invoked it will tear down the entire subscription stream and whatever we are doing in this sync block we won't be able to listen any values of our publishers so that is why we are using the store and storing our subscriptions and the same is happening for pass through subject and the current value subject both and if i show you that what values are we getting in our sync block so for that if i write the sync again and you can see that we are getting the type as float and this is because we have declared the type as float for our current value subject so if you see in this equalizer view controller while declaring our current value subject we declared the type as the float this is the type of the output value and this is the type of the error that it will never fail that is why it is never here same is the case with pass through subject we have declared the type as string so if i try this on the pass through subject here if i try writing sync you can see that we will get the string for this sync block and that is because we have mentioned the type as a string for the pass through subject so this is how we are listening to the values that are being emitted by our publishers by our subjects apart from the values we can also pass the completions through our subjects so for doing that let's go to the equalizer view controller and if we see any of the current value subject or maybe pass through subject here let's say travel current value subject and here in the send method if we use the one which is taking the completion as the parameter what you can do here is that you can directly pass the completion as success or failure so for dot finished will return as a success completion and for the failure you can specify the failure and even in the parameter of the type failure you can mention the error and i also mentioned that we can also use the subscriptions coming from an upstream to process the values and then pass the process value to the downstream using the third method which takes subscription as a parameter so if we see it again this is what we have achieved on selecting any of the presets the presets are being changed here and if we try to change the values the values are being changed 
Typically, this would have been done using the delegates and the protocol approach, but we use the pass through subject and current value subject for doing this. So if you're using combine in your project and you want to give callback from your table view cell, collection view cell, or maybe some bottom sheet like this, you can use subjects for that. In brief, you can create your own publishers using the subjects. And if you want to start with combine, you can follow the playlist that I have created on combine. Here's the link for that. So that's pretty much for this video. A new video comes out every weekend. So you can consider subscribing to the channel. Let's write button code together. Happy coding and stay safe.